Welcome everybody to day five here at Track and Faith. I'm certainly glad to be here. And today we're gonna to talk about victory, what it is to celebrate the victory that we have, especially in our dear friend, Jesus. You're gonna hear all about him today and the victory that we have in him and lots of other great stuff. For more about what today's gonna to look like, I'm gonna kick it over to my co-host, PJ Stachio. PJ? Thanks, Augustin. I'm your co-host, PJ Stachio, and welcome back to Track and Faith. It's day five, our final day, and what a day we have for you. We're going to be learning all about what it means to have victory in Christ. Our spiritual showcase today is with a very special guest, my twin brother, if you can believe it, Pastor Jake. I can't wait for you to meet him. Also on the docket today, we welcome back our good friend, Deaconess Janine, for a jumping jack craft as well as a fitness food of the day segment with Didymus Davis. Hope you're ready for a fun-filled day of victory in Jesus. But you know what time it is. Before we get started, it's dance time. I'll turn it over to you, Didymus. Hey kids, today I'm ready to go. And I took off my headphones, turning off my music, because we need to get ready and go right away. Because guess what? Today, for our last day of our Track and Faith camp, we are going to do both dances. I'm just as, as excited as you are. And so, let's make sure we get our stretches in really quick so we can do both dances. Here we go. Ready? Let's stretch our necks first. Ready? One, two, three. Go the other way. One. Two, three, all right. Arms out, arms out, arms out. Arms up, arms up, arms up. Arms out, five, four, three, two, one. Arms up, five, four, three, two, one. Now, get the wiggles out, one, two, three. Get the wiggles out, one, two, three. And let's do our squat stretch really fast. Ready, one, two, three, four. Five. Excellent. I know that you're going to have lots of fun, so we're going to go right to the dance, and I'm going to see you later, but let me tell you, as the person named Davis Davis Gonzalez, I've had a great week so far with you. Let's dance and have lots of energy. Let's do it. Look up, they're seated on the throne, ready to bring us home. In Him we're not alone, through Him true love is known. He makes a brightness shine, He is the real sunrise. True man and true divine, to Him we lift our eyes. They're seated on the throne, ready to bring us home. In Him we're not alone. Your love is known. He makes the brightness shine. He is the real sunrise. True man, true divine. To him we lift our eyes. He is the founder and perfecter of our faith in life. He is the one who dies on the cross. He makes all things right. shine. He is the real sunrise. True man and true divine. To him we lift our eyes. They're seated on the throne, ready to bring us home. In him we're not alone. Through him true love is known. He makes the brightness shine. He is the real sunrise. True man and true divine. To him we lift our eyes. He of our faith in life. He is the one who dies on the cross. He makes all things right. He is the power. He is the glory. And forever we pray. 
Thank you, Didymus. You know, I have grown to absolutely love that song. Thank you for all your hard work this week. Now, we're going to turn it over to a dear friend of Track and Faith. You know her. You've met her before, Deaconess Janine. She's going to have our Jumpin' Jack craft for the day. Take it away, Deaconess. Thanks, guys, and welcome to today's Jumpin' Jack craft. For today's Jumpin' Jack craft, we're making victory chains. Are you guys ready? Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need, number one, a stapler. And please make sure that your stapler has staples in it. The next thing that you're going to need is a box of markers. You can use a pen if you don't have markers, but if you have markers, those will be great. I got the big box. And the last thing that you'll need is strips of cut up colored paper all of the strips of paper. So get somebody to help you cut them up if you don't know how to use a scissor by yourself. Are you ready to make a victory chain? Okay, for today's Jumpin' Jack craft, we're making a victory chain. And what we're going to be doing is writing down the names of people that we love because we know that God loves them and we love them. So you're gonna write down all of the names of the people that you love. I'm gonna write down my mom. I'm gonna write down my dad. I'm going to write down my brother. I'm going to write down my sister-in-law. So I'm writing down all of the different members of my family because I love them and I know God loves them. I'm also thinking about other people who I love. Maybe I'll write down the name of my pastor at church. I might write down the name of my deaconess at church. I'm gonna write down also the name of people in my community that I love. I'm going to write down the names of my neighbors I'm going to write down the names of the people around the world who work to keep us safe. I'm going to write down the names of people who help at hospitals to keep us from getting sick. So I'll write down my doctor's name. Who else do I love? Who do you love? I'm writing down all of these different names and I'm gonna make a victory chain that shows how much God loves them and how much I love them. So I've got my mom, my dad, my family. I'm gonna write down my friends' names and I'm gonna put all of these together on my victory chain. Okay, so how do you make a victory chain? What you're gonna wanna do is take a sheet, that strip of paper, you're gonna curl it and you're gonna put a staple. And boom, you have a circle with the name of the person that you love. Next up, I'm gonna put my mom on my victory chain. And you know where I'm gonna put this victory chain? Who can guess where I'll put this victory chain? 
I'm looking at my pastor's name and I'm putting him on my victory chain. These are people that not only do I love them, I pray for them, I think of them very often, and it makes me happy when I think of them. Wouldn't you love to put people that you met, people that you miss from school? Do you have any friends that you miss from school? Put them on here. Maybe you wanna put your teacher's name on here. I put my doctor, I put people in the community that we love, I put people in my building that I love. Where do you live? And all of these different people are people that we love, that we cherish, that we know, and that we pray for. And we know that for each and every person who's on here, each and every group of people who is on here, we know that God loves them as well. And that makes me very, very happy. How does that make you feel? And so we're putting together our victory chain. Does anybody know any songs that go along with victory? Give me a V. Give me an I. Give me a C. I don't hear some people shouting after me. Give me a C. Give me a T. Give me an O. Give me an R. Give me a Y. And that is our victory chain. All right, your victory chain is all ready. So what are you gonna do with your victory chain? Are you gonna wear it around your neck? Are you going to hang it up in your apartment or your house? Put this somewhere where you can see it every day so that you can remember VBS and that God loves everyone on this victory chain. That's all for our Jumpin' Jack craft today. I'm Deaconess Janine. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Deaconess. That craft looks awesome, and I know that I want to talk about so many people that I love that Jesus loves with my victory chain. Excited about that. Well, since we're really excited about all the things that God is doing here, we also know that sometimes we get hungry. And my twin brother, Didymus Davis, is going to send uh, us another great faithful fitness food of the day. Let's hear from him. Didymus, welcome back. Thanks, fellas, for sending over such a great show so far. And here we are on this Friday. What a great day. I'm Didymus Davis Gonzalez, and you're here for our faithful fitness food of the day. Now, we've had a wonderful week, and this week isn't over yet, so let's continue to enjoy. Of course, we have to do our two very important things. What's the first one? That's right, wash your hands. Come on, let's go do that. We put soap on our hands together, right? And then we turn on our sink. We make sure our hands get nice and soapy. And then we wash them. And then we can sing that song, remember? Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them every day. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Clean them every day. What a great song. Now we know our hands are clean. And of course, we have to grab our wonderful towel to make sure our hands are nice and dry too for our faithfully fit, faithful fitness food of the day. Now, what we're gonna do today is have a special treat, which means you'll need a spoon. So if you don't have one, make sure you get one. And then we're gonna open up this treat called yogurt, low fat, healthy yogurt. Now your yogurt could be regular yogurt. It could be vanilla yogurt. It could be Greek yogurt. And so there's lots of different yogurts you can have. Now this one has a lid on it, so I'm gonna peel this lid off here, and then I'm gonna put that to the side. And if you have a peeled yogurt, or if you just have a regular yogurt in a bowl, take your spoon and mix it up a little. Make sure it's nice and mixed so that it looks nice and creamy. You wanna make sure that you have all of your, whatever topping you chose, in it because yogurt can have toppings. Some people put cinnamon and honey. Some people put only cinnamon or only honey. Some people put different fruits on top. Some people even put dark chocolate. That's one of my favorites. But there's lots of good things you can put on. Today, my yogurt has blueberry topping, and so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that. Now, first let's talk about low-fat yogurt. Low-fat yogurt has two really important things that are great for your body. The first of those is protein. 
Protein is so important because it helps your muscles to grow big and strong. But that's not all. It also boosts your energy so that if you're feeling a little tired, protein's gonna help you to pick right back up. It also helps your bodies to grow and it even helps your muscles to repair themselves. Your body can help fix you and heal you. Of course, that's the way God made it and that means that your muscles can grow and they can be healed because we have good healthy protein in our bodies. So low fat yogurt is a great source of that. Along with that, there's also calcium in low fat yogurt. Now calcium helps you to have strong bones and that means that means all of the bones in your body, they stay strong, so you don't have to worry about them breaking and you don't wanna to have to worry about anything like that. You wanna stay really healthy and strong. And the best way to do that is to keep being faithful and of course, eating our snack. Wait a second, what? You're right, I completely forgot to pray. And guess what? Even when you forget to pray at the beginning of a meal, you can pray anytime you remember. And so let's do that right now. Let's put our snacks down. Let's fold our hands. Let's close our eyes, bow our heads, and pray together. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful day and for this food. Bless us and all who we love, in your name we pray, amen. Well, we're certainly thankful to pray together. Pick your snack back up and keep eating your low-fat yogurt with a great topping. Hopefully it's like mine, it's blueberries because blueberries are really great for your body. Not only do they uh, taste great, and not only do they look cool, because blue is actually my favorite color, but they also have antioxidants. Now, antioxidants we heard about yesterday, those are things that help to protect healthy cells in your body. That means your body can stay strong and stay healthy because of the great things that you have in it. And so we want to make sure we stay strong and healthy together. And that means taking care of ourselves, that means eating faithfully fit foods like low-fat yogurt and blueberries, and you can even put a little dark chocolate on it if you want, but make sure that you're always eating healthy and taking care of yourself so you can grow healthy and strong, especially as we grow together in God. It's been a great week for me. I know I've had lots of fun. Of course, you know I'm Didymus Davis, and I'll be hopefully uh, seeing and meeting some of you someday, but whatever the case, know that all of us here at Track and Faith are praying for you, and you have a great show left. So don't miss out on it, and don't go anywhere. I'm going to send it back to the guys in the studio. Fellas? Wow, that yogurt looks delicious. And all those toppings? Absolutely delicious. Well, friends, now it's time to get a little bit more serious in our spiritual showcase. And if you can believe it, our special guest today is my twin brother, Pastor Jake, and he's going to teach us all about victory in Christ. Take it away, brother. Thanks, guys. My name is Pastor Jake, and I know I look a lot like my twin brother, PJ Stachio, although I think our mustaches curl just a little differently. Anyway, our spiritual showcase for today is from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. And we're going to go with the last section of that verse. So we're going to call it 2B. Now this is the last section of our theme verses from Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 2. Remember, these verses are talking about Jesus. It says, Jesus, right, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. We've been talking a lot about running the race with endurance. Well, today I want to tell you, friends, that Jesus ran the race for you. That's right. Jesus had a race in front of him, and it was a very difficult race. It was a tough race. It was a race full of pain and hurt and suffering. As it says, he endured the cross. 
Now, Jesus finished this race, and he finished this race perfectly, and he did it for you. Now, when you finish a race, right, when runners finish a race, what do they get at the end? Well, they get a, a medal or, or a trophy, right? This is not a running medal. This is actually a volleyball trophy, but you get the point, right? There is a prize at the end of the race. Jesus won a prize at the end of his race. As our verses say, for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. So what was Jesus's prize? What do you think Jesus's prize was? Well, this verse again says that for the joy that was set before him. So this prize brought him a lot of joy. So let me ask you this. What brings you joy? Think about that for a second. What brings you joy? Now, maybe it's a favorite food like Teddy Graham's. That could be every time you, you enjoy your favorite food, makes you happy. Uh, it could be maybe a favorite video game. Okay, maybe like Sega Genesis, old school. Maybe it's a favorite book. That could be reading a book uh, like Dr. Seuss, Fox and Socks. Take it slowly. This book is dangerous, right? There's a lot of things that make us happy and that bring us joy. I want to introduce you to somebody. Why don't you come on over here? Cool. <laughs> this is my son, Roman. Roman, you want to say hi? Hi. Hello. And Roman has a very special friend with him today. Yeah, I am Roman. This, yes, this guy is like a, a member of our family. His name is Washi, and yeah. Washi brings Roman a lot of joy, doesn't he? Yep. He brings Romy a lot of joy. So we have a lot of things that bring us joy. Now let me ask you, what do you think Jesus's joy is? Because that'll help us answer what Jesus's prize is. What brings Jesus joy? What is that joy that was set before him that he was even willing to go to the cross to have? Well, I hope you're ready for the answer. Are you ready? It's you. You are Jesus's joy. Can you believe that? You are Jesus's joy. He ran the race of this life, endured the cross, died on a cross so that he could have you. Saving you, forgiving you, loving you is his joy. The prize is your eternal salvation, right? He has made you his own. This is the good news that we get to share and that we get to have, right? You are the reason that Jesus endured the cross. You are the reason that he uh, came to this earth and ran the race. He loves you and he wasn't going to let anything else have you. Not sin, not bad days, right? Not uh, pain, not heartache, not sadness. He endured the cross so that he could make you his own. So friends, even when the days are tough, <laughs> even when uh, you're having a bad day, a bad week, even when things aren't going the way that you want to, I want you to know that Jesus ran the race for you. And because he won, because he won the victory, you can't lose. You can't lose. You have the victory in Jesus Christ, and he has won the victory for you. Dear friends, I thank you for letting me have some time with you today. I pray that you are, are filled with peace today in that good news of knowing that Jesus has run the race for you, and because Jesus wins, you win too. Good news, right, Romy? Yep, and to Washi. And to Washi too. Amen. Back to the studio. Wow, 
What an incredible spiritual showcase. What an incredible week. I'm back out here in the field after a great week of, of, of just amazing events and an amazing time together. And that's not all. Tomorrow we have a special surprise for you. And then we have a great uh, weekend worship service on Sunday. So please be a part of it all this weekend. Know that you are loved, that Jesus loves you, and so do we. And you, we hope that you had a great week of track and faith for all of our friends here and for my co-host pj stachio i'm augustin gonzalez and remember run the race with endurance